Hello team, welcome back to V Project UK. In today's video, we're going to touch on the subject of polymers. What is a polymer and does it matter? So, let's start the video. When we started detailing at V-Project UK, one of the things we found is that there's a lot of myth and a lot of misinformation in the detailing world, and hopefully our videos will try and put an end to some of these myths and some of this misinformation. Really depending on where you get your information from and what you watch on YouTube, it can be quite confusing, and it was no different for us when we started our journey in detailing. And one of the myths, and something that makes us laugh a lot here at V-Project UK, is the term polymer. It's quite misunderstood what a polymer actually is and hopefully we'll explain that in today's video. A common misconception in detailing is that a polymer is a type of liquid, a super liquid which is marketed as being something which is fantastic in protecting your vehicle's paintwork or your vehicle surface. However, when you break down the term polymer, what it actually means is poly means many and mer means parts. So basically what a polymer is telling you is that there's many parts of something. And what you need to establish is what that many parts is of what. So without this turning into a science lesson, basically a polymer is a substance or a material which consists of very large molecules or macromolecules. However, these are composed in many repeating subunits. So what detailing companies are telling you when they market something as a polymer is that they have bonded these micromolecules together to form bigger structures which gives you better protection. However, what you need to establish is what that polymer is. And it will generally be one of two things. It will either be an organic polymer, i.e. something which is natural, which would be a canalba wax or a beeswax, or it could be inorganic. A classic example of that would be silicon dioxide, SiO2 or ceramic coating, which is a glass coating. So what you need to do, and this is something which makes us laugh at V-Project UK where things are marketed as polymers, which is great, it's a polymer, but a polymer of what? Which is what you need to establish when choosing something to protect your vehicle surface. So a great example in explaining this would be Ultimate Liquid Wax from Meguiar's. As you can see from the label, this is marketed as a liquid wax, which you would assume would be some sort of natural wax, i.e. an organic material, such as a carnauba wax or a beeswax or a bees oil. However, just underneath it says it's a pure synthetic polymer. So what this is telling you is that it's not an organic wax. It is in fact a synthetic material, something which is man-made, and these have been bonded together to form a polymer because when they bond together, you have a tighter knit molecules on the surface of your vehicle, which will in generally give you better protection and better beading of water and better water hydrophobicity, which is why detailing companies use polymers, i.e. they will bond the molecules together to form stronger structures. In theory, that will give you longer longevity of the protection and it actually makes it more hydrophobic. So classic example, what you need to do is establish exactly what the polymer is. What is it many parts of? Something like this, you could be fooled into thinking it's an organic structure, i.e. a beeswax or a bees oil, as an example, or a carnauba wax. However, this clearly tells you that it's a synthetic polymer, which means it's not organic, it's inorganic, and it's synthetic, which is man-made. So the polymer is just telling you there's many parts of something which is synthetic. So this is in fact a synthetic sealant for your vehicle surface. So this is a classic example of explaining what we were trying to explain. So when it comes to paint protection, there is no right or wrong answer. It really depends on what you're looking for from the paint protection you use, whether it be a wax, a sealant or a ceramic coating. They all have advantages and disadvantages. And as we progress into the paint protection series of videos on V-Project UK, we'll be discussing all of these options. In this quick video today, we just wanted to explain what a polymer is because there's such misconception and myth about polymers in the detailing world. And as we've explained today, all a polymer means is as many parts of something. And you need to establish when you're using the products you use, what those many parts are, i.e. is it organic, 
Is it a wax, beeswax, or a carnauba wax, or is it inorganic, something man-made like silicon dioxide or ceramic coating, or some form of sealant, such as the example in Maguire's Ultimate Liquid Wax. So, we hope you found this video of some use. If you did, make sure you give us a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, make sure you press the bell icon to get alerts for future videos, make sure you check us out on Instagram, and make sure you spread our word to others. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.